This heat has brown recluse spiders moving into our homes. Parents, check your kids' bedrooms. As Fox 2 meteorologist Jamie Traver shows us, pest companies have been busy fielding calls. The last month and a half, um, this is our, our, our number one spider um, right now as far as calls with this temperature. We've had this pattern for, you know, a couple weeks, three, four weeks. Jay Everett, the technical director for Rottler, says in many cases they're coming down from the attic. We tend to see the activity on the upper parts of the house as well as some of the lower parts of the house. So um, your crawl spaces are heating up, your attic spaces upstairs are heating up, and that's what's driving these insects down. Everett says professional help is important and glue traps are useful. The bite from a brown recluse is typically reactive. They're not going to search you out, but um, you know, if they get you know, in your shoe or in your jacket or under the sheets of your bed, um, in your the hat that you put on, um, these are the times where that, that arachnid slash spider um, human conflict comes into place. We spoke with Allison Williamson, a pediatric nurse practitioner with SSM Health, about how concerned parents should be. She said that just because someone gets bitten, it doesn't necessarily mean they'll get sick. Unfortunately, uh, children, because they are generally smaller and their immune systems aren't as robust as an adult, immune system, they typically are ones that may have those more severe reactions. Within several hours, it may at first look like any common insect bite. It's kind of a watchful waiting and you see if it if it progresses into anything worse than just looking like a general insect bite. The bite will evolve. After three to five days, it can ulcerate where the puncture site is. There are very even more rare instances where children can get even more sick from brown recluse bites, and that can um, include, you can see fever, um, headaches, they can have just be generalized unwell feeling. So that is a reason to seek emergency care. And it's good practice to take some precautions. You want to shake out your clothes, turn your shoes upside down and shake them just to make sure you don't end up with a brown recluse bite because that is, they are going to, when they're indoors, they are going to hide in those kinds of places. I'm meteorologist Jamie Travers, Fox 2 News.